step into the world of the Subaru XV, this is Subaru's first and only crossover. That's in second generation, you can understand why Subaru are really feeling competitive because this particular segment is cutthroat. You have the likes of the Toyota CHR, you do have the likes of the Nissan Juke and the Qashqai and the Tucson from Hyundai. These particular vehicles are competing for the same space because these particular cars are built for the young modern family. So let's start with the dashboard. As you can see here, it's an angular design. There's a bit of curviness on the texture side and of course the angularness on the edges. That allows this car to have that butch look and of course the dashboard is seated further away from the passengers to create an illusion of space. Center console as you can see here, you do have a 12 inch monitor display that houses quite a number of things including um, audio system that kicks really hard. It's a 6 speaker audio system that also has MP3 capability, Bluetooth streaming and of course you do have USB connectivity. Again, if you want to connect your phone, you have quite a number of apps available. You can use either Android Auto or Apple CarPlay so that you can Im improve your productivity while driving on the road. So you can connect and use maps which are available on Google Maps and of course you can have Siri to work as you try and connect the different aspects of this particular multimedia information display. Right below it you have the AC knobs which are round and circular. So it's very basic, it's dual zone. You can control the different temperature settings from the driver to passenger and obviously at the back you do have air vents over here and of course as you move towards the gearbox console it's also finished in piano black and stainless steel trim now it's tiptronic as you can see here and it's cvt which we're going to discuss later on as we drive this particular car uh, not many things electronic pack brake are standard and then you do have x mode which is the all-wheel drive version you have to switch it on and off so that you have maximum traction when you're driving this particular xv obviously being this particular kind of car which is a practical vehicle you do have plenty of cubby holes and spaces you do have two cup holders which are heated as well and then also here you do have plenty of storage space in the center binacle and it has usb functionality as well as i can see here and a, a 20 volt socket for your uh, either ipad or any other electrical appliance that you want to do it in the car let's move on to the steering wheel as you can see here it's a three spoke leather clad steering with uh, orange stitching which is standard on the XV and obviously you have satellite buttons. This is the kind of steering you'll probably find on a Forester or a Legacy or an Outback. Now on the left hand side you have satellite buttons. This control the multimedia interface here. You can toggle through the USB functionality, Bluetooth and also you can also toggle through the different modes of the multimedia interface. Uh, on the right hand side you have cruise control settings as well. You can control the standard cruise control or select uh, adaptive cruise control and then also lane departure assist and then this information is displayed right here on this particular first set of the information display and then the lower third you do have the drive, different drive modes Subaru has intelligent sport sharp and sport so you're able to toggle through if you want more acceleration more power or just intelligent your everyday driving you can toggle that using this particular set of buttons and obviously just to complement that you're able to use the paddle shifters um, this allows you to toggle through the different gears when you accelerate. So if you put on sport mode, if you want more acceleration, you drop down a couple of gears using this left shifter and you're able to accelerate. And of course, once you reach the peak speed, then you're able to go back to the higher gears and make sure that you're able to control this and enjoy the drive of this particular Subaru XV. Moving on to the instrument binnacle, very clear and precise. Subaru are not overwhelmed the instrument binnacle with so many details because this uh, first display on top has most of the details that you need. So you have your standard uh, tachometer on your left hand side and the speedometer on the right hand side. The italics are very clear and precise with a light blue hue. Allows you to see all the information clearly as you drive on the road. And obviously in the middle you have also another set of information display in that houses just you know, the key aspects. Temperature, fuel and of course the door functionality. Are the doors open? You know, it will tell you all the vital information that you need for this particular car. Now moving on to the seats, Subaru have done a good job building these seats, they're very comfortable. Big boys, you know, I'm very comfortable, there's a lot of space and the seats are perforated with leather. As you can see, it has the yellow stitching, it gives this car a premium feel. Remember, this class is very, very competitive. Also on the door handles, you can see here, you do have um, this, this, this looks like a bit of Kevlar and carbon fiber trim finish. And of course, padded on the elbow rest on this particular car. And obviously you have a sunroof which is optional as well and many other aspects of this car that make it one of the best selling 
sorts of us in the market. Let's go to Murigan and find out at the back and see if there's plenty of space, if there's good carrying capacity at the boot. And of course, we're going to drive the XV courtesy of cars with Big Boy Trev. Coming around to the back of the Subaru XV, and as you can see, there's a lot of space in the back here. This seat is set to Trevor's driving position. He is six foot one, and there's enough space for me here at my five foot nine to sit comfortably at the back here. These seats are spectacular, really nice leather with contrast stitching to let you know that this is still a sports car. There's lots of space for storing stuff in the seats itself and on the door packs over here and in the seats you have two extra spaces for drinks. Let's check out the back to see just how much more space the Subaru XV has to offer. Coming around to the boot of the Subaru XV and we have the tailgate opening to reveal a very wide space, very easy to put stuff inside. Over here it's pretty flat, allowing you to put your stuff in very easily. One or two tied on hooks to hold your things down when you're getting off the road and under here we have a full size spare tire. So let's take this on the road and see what the Subaru XV has to offer. Today I'm actually driving the Subaru XV. Now as I told you earlier, the crossover segment is very competitive. You have the likes of the Nissan Qashqai and the Juke and of course the Toyota CHR reigning supreme in this category. But today on Cars Big Boy we're just here to find out if this car still has those Subaru ethos. And remember the WRC I made Subaru very popular. I want to find out if the pairment of the symmetrical all-wheel drive and of course the boxer engine in this particular version of the Subaru XV would make a lot of sense. So up front you do have a 2-litre petrol engine that produces 115 kilowatts and 196 meters of torque sent to the four wheels courtesy of a six-speed linear tronic CVT transmission. Yes, I don't like CVT, but the name of the game is efficiency. That's what people are looking out for. In this traffic of Nairobi, you need that. And obviously, you have the pavement of the symmetrical all-wheel drive, which gives you maximum grip at any given time. Fuel consumption on average claimed by Subaru about 5.9 liters per 100 kilometers, which is not too bad for a 2 liter. And obviously, being paired with the CVT transmission makes this car very fuel efficient. The Subaru XV is loaded a lot of safety equipment. Let's start with the eyesight technology that has stereoscopic cameras that check up the front and ensures that the distance between the car in front of you and the car are maintained at any given time. Apart from that, you do have cruise control, you have lane departure assist, you have cross traffic alert and many others that help you be safe on the road. But in case all hell breaks loose, then you can rely on the multiple airbags, of course, a five-star uh, passenger cell that dissipates impact energy away from the passenger cell and of course, this the safety belt, the most important item in this particular car to keep you and your family from harm's way. So guys, that's it. We're going to take this car off-road and give it to Mirig. He's going to take it through the paces and see if the symmetrical all-wheel drive paired with the boxer engine and of course the linear tonic gearbox will make this car as capable as most of the other crossovers are. Stay tuned. Trevor has decided to make me a Subaru buy for the day and so far I can't complain because this is the exact place that you want to drive the Subaru XV. Now, this is actually a Subaru Impreza that has been lifted and so it's important to see how this handles when it's off the road. Just like any Subaru, this benefits from that excellent asymmetrical all-wheel drive system. So the fact that it has four-wheel drive and it's been raised gives it actually very good off-road capability. In addition to that, it has the X mode from its big brother, the Subaru Outback. And what that does is that it works in conjunction with the gearbox to give each and every single wheel the traction that it needs to get you into and out of any spot you choose when you're off the road. These two buttons here are actually very interesting. The first one is called automatic vehicle holding. What this does is that it just holds the car when you're in traffic. So if you hold the brake, then it just takes over the brake, so when you're in traffic, we can stop and the car holds itself. It's also doing the same thing on the hill here. This second button now is for X mode. What this does, when you press it, is that it changes the asymmetrical all-wheel drive system on the Subaru to prepare it for off-road conditions. And one of those off-road conditions is going down a hill. So by default, it has hill descent control built in. So what we're going to do right now is just press on the accelerator a bit. Hill descent control is going to check in. So as you can see right now, my feet are off the pedals and the car is just walking itself down this hill. So this is a feature that you see on premium SUVs, but they've brought this to the Subaru XV. 
In addition to that, there's a second display on the top of the dashboard that gives you information about what each wheel is doing, as well as allowing you to see what angle the car is at, whether it's going up or down. So these approach and departure angles people talk about, you can actually see a readout of how the car is doing, shown over here in a very clear screen. And that is really, really good. So given the fact that most people who own a car like this are buying it to be able to go do active stuff, you know, whitewater rafting, bungee jumping, zip lining this is the car that would take you to those places let's see how this stacks up against the competition let's go to value for money we had an extensive tour of Gongil's courtesy of the subaru xv it's stylish it's practical and of course it's got the looks but before we go any further mr Munigi, who are the key rivals of this particular car well the key rivals of this car are the hyundai tucson the nissan qashqai and the mitsubishi asx how much does it cost Prices for this car, including that fantastic eyesight system, start at 5.8 million shillings. And remember, this particular car comes with a three-year, 100,000 kilometer warranty. Whichever comes first, and you can rely on Subaru Kenya's extensive footprint across the country. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for joining us on Cars with Big Boy Trev. If you have any questions, comments, or queries, don't hesitate to write to us. I'll send the social media handles below, and we'll get back to you next week. Signing out, this is Big Boy Trev. This is Murigi. Drive safe. And be safe. Pace. Very competitive and they're trying to do ah! As you're aware, the crossover world is very competitive. Numbers suggest but that ah! This city is set to Trevor's position with uh and the tenor. Ah! So it's tough, it's stylish, and of course very, very efficient. But we go go any <laughs> 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 uh, last,